Welcome back to Dracon's Plays, Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Alright, let's continue through the inverted castle then, shall we? So one of the... Big difference is I'm seeing between this playthrough and um, yeah, one big difference I'm seeing between like going through the inverted castle. And the um, standard castle is sense. I know where everything is, and it doesn't appear that we're going to get any more movement abilities. I'm able to just breeze right through. I double hit him. In ways that I normally wouldn't be able to. Because I don't have to, like, explore it. It's literally, I can just go. Which is awesome. See, I know what's... The only thing I don't know has to do with enemy placement, which is easy enough to learn. But because I know all the layouts, I don't have to backtrack after getting new abilities. It's amazing how much just that can and will make a difference. Oh my god. That was stupid. Jacko bones. Man, that enemy type was infuriating. All right. Rather than go into what potentially is a boss room, I'm going to go this way. To, um... The save room I know about. Alright. And then we'll be ready to take on whatever this potential boss is. Now, one obvious question I have, though, it is a boss.
Gotcha. One obvious question I have. Tooth of Vlad. Plus 10 strength? I just got a 10 point defense or attack buff. Shield potion. That's awesome. So the obvious question I have is where the heck do I go once I... Um, collect all the pieces. Where's the atch- where do you fight the final boss? Also, why are we collecting pieces of Vlad? Wait. Are they going with the thing where it's like- Damn, I do so much damage, it's awesome. Alright. Luck Potion. Life Max. Alright, so that's the way... Three dim sun dishes? Usable item. What? Life Max. Alright. What is even the point of that? and a hammer. How good is this shoto? Weaker than what I have. Alright. Oh boy, this could be a long trip down this way. I want to hit the save point first. Because that could be quite the long trip.
112 more, and then I get another level. Ah, those guys only give one. I have 17k gold. Plus, all the stuff that I can just go out and, um, buy. Well, sell, rather. Also have to account for that. Nice. Alright. 108. Alright. Let's see what this path is going to be all about then. That's easy enough. Anyone that doesn't know about the like diagonal down cut would have a much harder time with this. There we go. Level. Thirty-one defense. Iron ball. This is weird. Oh man. They hit hard. Neil Pickett. They, those traps in the corner are really dumb. And they hit insanely hard. Ah, so that leads down to the waterways. underground cavern. Thank you. Damn. What? 
What the crap? Stop juggling me like that. Nice. Damn, those particular enemies hit way hard. Alright. There we go. I just get to a save point. No, there's a save point through here. All right, awesome. All right, now then. Let's. XP for eight hundred. Damn, they give a lot. Does this actually open up if I equipped full the, um... Oh! That's the highly valid- I know I got an opal, too. No. So this must be... That must be where you have to bring Vlad's stuff is to the clock. Understood. Okay, so that's where the final boss is. Gotcha. I was really wondering where you had to bring it. Thirty-two. Awesome. Slowly taking up more defense. Ooh. 
Okay. It's a little bit weaker. That has the same effect as um, the dark weapon. So I think that is good against um, fully enemies. Gotcha. Got another level. Awesome. Alright, I'm gonna go over to the warp point that I know is over this way. Well then. Alright, so this gets at me access to the warp point. And a save. Ah, it takes longer, that's annoying. Yeah, so there's a save right below us here. Three ninety eight. Wow, we have quite a bit of health now, don't we? All right. I guess let's continue through the quarters. At some point here, we're also going to have to continue to the right. Actually, while we're here, we might as well do that now, actually. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, that's the trick. Stand just out of range. Stand at max range and they don't actually end up attacking you. Noted. Oh boy. This way is going to be a very unique trip because a lot of this was vertical stuff. That looks cool. Magic missile.
save room? Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Boss? Oh boy. Just because that's gonna be a constant annoyance. I'll take the... Defense... I'll take the defense penalty so I don't get petrified. Heart of Vlad. Really? Avoid curse? I just naturally avoid curse now. I don't actually need to switch armor anymore. That's the best ability yet. Take advantage of this save point. Alright. So if there's only two more parts of Vlad in the castle, then I could technically finish the game. Wow, I am up to 408. Nice. Only 5k per level. Amazing how the leveling all of a sudden know the enemies give a lot of XP. Amazing how that all ended up turning around. Now that enemies give a good amount of XP. Those guys don't, though. Double tap me. Talwar? Curved Indian sword. It's a tad weaker than my current.
Okay, that is just stupid and annoying. They run really fast and then they teleport away. Life max up. Mana prison. Twilight Cloak. Higher Defense. Black Cape for Vampires. Higher Defense. Constitution goes up. Or no, Defense is the same, but I get more Constitution. Sure. I've killed 2,000 enemies. Wow. All right. My defense is very good. Nice. Really? Really, that's just doping? This is the one that leads to the Coliseum. up. Alright. Not the way I was planning on going, but that is totally fine. Because we gotta save a point. Alright, anyways. I'm gonna wrap this one up here. Next time, 
I guess we're gonna continue exploring here. Um, so anyways, gonna wrap this one up here, and I'll see all of you guys later. Bye!